Yo, what's going on? My name is Chase. You're now tuning in Chase by YouTube channel. What showcases my life, things I'm passionate about, and what Arkansas has to offer. If you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button so you be a part of the driver squad. Make sure you like this video because if you didn't know, once you like this video, you let everybody know on YouTube that this channel is valuable. Share this video with your friends and family members and let them know that Chase Way is popular. Let's get into today's video. Nah, for real. I pull on no star for real. I hop in the whip and take off, you know, my mom. Driver Squad, what's going on? Chase Way back with another video. Today has been a very eventful day. But we are on we we here to uh talk about what that cash app looking like what them what them stocks been looking like on robin hood what what them stocks been looking like on weeble what coinbase been looking like uh this is all according to wednesday august 12th of course and i updated where well, i found the next 10 stocks the worst 10 stocks that was been performing lower all year and Hopefully we got some good games. It's a few stocks in there. Um, as I make these suggestions, also do your research. I don't wanna, sometimes I know I focus on things and I stick to it. Y'all may come across something else and y'all wanna try. And I just want everybody to form their own independent thought. It's okay to follow what you see on somebody that you're watching or if you watch other people i just i don't know i know some people not okay with the patience or my way of thinking about things but i like to take my time and make sure i'm doing right things or sometimes i like to take risks and i just take the risk let me put y'all up on the screen real quick three two one let's go so as we go to cash up let's see what cash i've been performing like what are we up today? We are up 88 cent today. Let's go. It's better than zero for the week. We up a dollar and 32 cent for the month. We up $33.84 cent for the year. We up $334. Okay, that's real good. Uh, t my total return. Let's change this to my daily percent change. Apple is up. Okay, the worst stock right now is performing is spear aero system which is fine but i'm still up damn i thought it gave me two i don't even own two shares okay it's okay though it's okay it's okay it's okay uh so far that's it uh till ray i remember putting 35 more dollars in yesterday when i sold uso so i bought uh i put 35 dollars in Till Ray, so that kind of helped me out a little bit. Let me see. Let me see if it shows it. Who was yesterday? Tuesday? I don't show. I don't show. But oh well. Uh, let's go to Robin Hood. Okay, we down two dollars and twenty nine cent. Uh, I'm thinking about selling everything on Robinhood and getting this prepared for Apple. And I think I'm gonna have my Apple stock go through here. I'm thinking about it. I'm not sure yet. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, let's go to the bottom. All these these last was my free stocks, including Ford Motor and Heimlich Mining. Oh, uh, Barney Petroleum is still up under a dollar and I'm probably gonna wait on that one. Oh, that's all I'm supposed to, well, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait to talk about that one. Oh, uh, Dogecoin. It's, it's doing whatever it's doing, so I'm gonna let, let, let them do that. Oh, uh, Bitcoin is pretty much staying up for the most part, which is good for everybody that's been uh, training Bitcoin. I'm going to wait for it to dip one more time, then I'm going to buy in. 
uh, let's go to Weeble. So, make sure. I'll make sure you give me the correct. Okay, so the video, me and Ryan, we day traded today. So, uh, yeah. I'm up a dollar and seventy one cent. I think I'm a uh I know they have earnings call tomorrow, so we're gonna see how that go. I can sell it and be up or I can wait and see what's gonna happen tomorrow. So I'm I think I'm gonna just wait till tomorrow and see what's gonna go what's gonna happen from there and not even pay attention to it, not even worried about it. Let's check out Coinbase. I'm very, very tired. That's crazy. Borrow cash using your Bitcoin as collateral. No, I will not. Uh, Y'all don't do that either. I put $50 in. We up $12. So, that's pretty much it. I'm leave my little $12 alone. I need to watch more cryptocurrency videos to see how cryptocurrency works. So, I can talk about it a little bit more. But I really don't understand it quite like that just yet. But it's okay. So as we go over here, uh, transportation was the is what we needed to find out. So let's go to cash out. Let's go to the search. Let's scroll up to transportation, and let's see what's the worst performing stocks of the year. Fifty percent or lower. You have United uh, Airlines, Continental Holdings, and I believe we already did that. Yeah, we already did that. And we already did Spirit Airlines, so Hertz. Now, something about Hertz, even though they filed for bankruptcy, I ain't, I went ahead and invested in it because they were cheap. And according to calculations, the stock price is $1.59. The 200 moving day average was $8.94. Well, if you multiply by 0.8, it gives you $7.15. And once you do calculate the return rate, meaning you take $7.15 minus $1.59, and whatever the difference is, you divide that by 1.59, it's going to give you a decimal. So you multiply by 100 to uh, turn into a percent, and it will give you. getting so heavy now I understand what people be meaning by your eyes getting heavy yes it is oh, oh my gosh it's been like this this vlog I'm gonna upload uh, pretty soon y'all gonna get to see I was pretty much everywhere today today is the 12th the video that that video like everything, like all the shoes, I bought everything. Y'all gonna get to see. Uh, yeah. And then let's go to 40%. Oh, what I was saying about Hertz is they filed for bankruptcy. And since they filed for bankruptcy, a lot of people have been saying Hertz is bad. But let's pull it up on stock charts. That's what I meant to talk about. HTZ, I believe. Okay, you hurt. You see how in the next 200 days, it's gonna go up to $8.94. So I've been really thinking about putting some coins in there. I'm gonna take a risk, I'm gonna be honest. And the reason why I'm gonna take a risk cause you just never know. I did the same thing with Whitening Petroleum and it just took off. So. I'm not even hoping at this point. 
so right now the RSI is at 49.99. Uh, let's see what di direction it's going. It's pretty much trading sideways. So it don't, it wouldn't even matter going down or up. Just let it do what it got to do. But I'm definitely looking into that. Uh, 40%. So they added Boeing, American Airlines, Lyft, Hawaiian Holdings, and Skywest. We already looked those up. I feel like I didn't do Skywest, so let me double check. I feel like I didn't do it. Tourism. Technology. Oh, so I never did do Skyward. So we're gonna do that one together. S K Y W. Y'all get a little bonus. S K Y W. S K Y W. Hey. Now, this is what I look at when it's time to read charts. So the daily is $31.24, which is the stock price or the share price today. So $31.24. So when you're making your graph, you're gonna put $31.24 right here. Now the 200 moving day average, I try to see what is the stock on an 80% discount. So we take $42.84 for $2. 84 cent multiplied by 0 0.8 which gives you a number 34 dollars and 27 cent but if you don't want to do it by 0 0.8 do, do your thug dizzle but it's in the next 200 days it's it's on its way to move up well what was i trying to say as the graph is showing you it's projecting for this stock to go up so, and you get to see, is this a good time to invest right now? Right now, it's 55.17. Let it, let it dip a little bit as it's about to go down. Let it dip a little bit, and then you can invest if you want to. And I'm reading that from this top graph where it's a 55.17, and as you can just tell, and just paying attention brown means you buy the stock green mean you you sell the stock brown mean undervalued green means overvalued so you see how I trade sideways it go down a little point here go down trade sideways it go up let it go down once it reach like underneath 50 it's always a good measure to buy because it's going to trade sideways then it's eventually going to peak at green then it's gonna come down and then when it come down you try to get in while it's low underneath 50 and then you can kind of swing trade it a little bit if you wanted to it was under 27 dollars and 50 cent you can buy swing trade that so there's different ways to play it uh now to find out what the return where it would be you're gonna do equal signs open parentheses $34.27 minus $31.24 close parentheses divided by $31.24 which would give you a 9.71% if you want to invest in the stock. So we got those stocks. So now let's go to 30%. Now they added JetBlue, Alaska Air, and we got those. Put that on the wrong one. So let's just copy this. Copy. Now let's go to transportation. And let's paste. Okay. So we got JetBlue in Alaska. That we gonna wait. Even though they might be more, but but they, I think they're a little bit more. Let's just look it up so y'all can see. JB, tell you. Yep. 
So JetBlue, if you don't want to multiply by 0 0.8, I'm giving you a different perspective. So it's $11.61. In the next 50 days, it's going to drop a little bit, but in the next 200 days, it's going to go up to around $14.15. The RSI right now is above 50, close to 70, so it's on its way being close to being overvalued, so don't invest right now. Alaska Air, A-L-K. -okay. AOK is $38.46. The 50 day moving average is indicating that it's going to dip a little bit, but the 200 moving day average is going to go up to $47.92. Uh, the RSI up here is on its way down. It's 59.42. So if you want to get in, wait, make sure the RSI, the RSI is close to green. Ooh, I just we just be uh let's see i thought we already did though so i changed it to 20. uh they included ge ford southwest air airlines general motors and that was it so let's look at ge so ge right now which the stock price is six dollars and seventy two cents and it's just gonna incline over time so the, the high is just gonna peak at is at eighty dollars eight dollars and ninety two cents uh, according to the chart it's gonna give us six point nineteen percent uh return rate so that would be real real good if you think about it pile up on some stocks uh forward not looking too good but we're gonna look it up. Uh, Ford uh, is at seven dollars and eleven cent. Is on its way down, so I might need to sell my my free stock that I got in Robinhood. So that's what we can do today. Uh, Southwest. Let's look at Southwest. L U V. Uh, it's it's gonna dip a little bit, but it's gonna go up to forty two dollars and eighty seven cents. So basically, it's it's kind of indicating that whatever is just gonna happen within today and the next fifty days, it's gonna drop. But already looking into next year, it's gonna go back up, and everything might go back to normal. So you got now you got General Motors, GM. All right, they gonna dip, but they gonna go back up to $29.03. The RSI is at 61.81, so it's all right. It ain't too crazy, but if this is your style, go ahead. I'm waiting on all of that. The only top three stocks that I would say is Skyworks and General Electric and Hertz, but don't invest in Hertz if you don't if you're not really well all of it investing to the stock market all of it is risky i am so tired but look up these stocks if you like like how i'm doing this instead of doing the full thing and giving y'all the top 10 stocks y'all let me know oh let's go to robin hood let, let's do that together we can go and sell that, sell that thing now. Trade, sell, all. I need my fourteen dollars and eighteen cent. All right, y'all. Y'all have a great day. Chase way out. It's time to go to sleep. Peace.